Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode four of the NorCal Ultimate Arcadian Preview. This is our last part. If you haven't checked out the rest of the parts that are up on YouTube, unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, we don't really have video for this one. And I couldn't film this at Guildhouse, but please, everybody, give it up for Solid Tips. How are you doing, Solid Tips? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, it is going to be a great time. Are you going to be at the Arcadian this weekend? I will be at the uh, Arcadian this weekend. I'm looking forward to uh, watching some great matches. I won't be commentating, but I'm mostly there for the vibes. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of us are going to be there for the vibes. Some like 300 people are signed up between doubles and singles, and that's not even counting the people that are there literally just for the vibes, just the spectators. So it's it's going to be a lot of people in Guildhouse as usual. Uh, so uh, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit for the people at home, solid tips. And I, I know you've got a lot of accolades to your name. <laughs> well, I appreciate you saying as such. Uh, yeah, I'm solid tips, Connor, as I prefer. Um, currently part of the NorCal PR panel, um, former PR player. I don't play this game as much as I'd like to, but still such a fun time. Um, just... Yeah, I'm currently more lion focused on the the panel aspect than competing at the current moment. Yeah, and uh, so you're from the Sacramento subregion, correct? I am indeed from the Sacramento uh, region. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about the current iteration of the panel is we got pretty split representation among all the subregions. I know Sacramento is a pretty big subregion. I've been asking people, you know, who their their names are from their regions. I, let's see. I've got, I've got, I've had El Sona on. I've had Baron on. I just had Shudik on, actually. So uh, this is going to be a good call, or not a good call, but it'd be nice to see uh, someone who you know does not sleep on unranked sack, just like I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not prone to ever sleeping on anyone, but I feel like as long as they deserve the credit they need. And I feel like SAC at this point has definitely proven themselves to uh, have what it takes to uh, go toe to toe with some of our uh, PR players up in the Bay. Yeah, yeah. And I know that's always been the point of contention between people. So what I want to do is I want to ask you who are some of your names to watch out for? Not necessarily names that are slated to, you know, make like top eight or win the tournament or whatever, just people that... I'll avoid saying any of the obvious stuff, such as, you know, Nathan and Jim, both uh, phenomenal players. They'll probably, you know, most likely see them in the top eight. Some more like sleeper picks I could uh, see people not expecting is shout outs to my personal boy, uh, Strike, uh, formerly known as My Name Jeff. Uh, he's been doing a lot better here in SAC recently. Um, and currently he's playing Roy. He used to be a ZSS player, but now he's been working on his Roy, and it's uh, been moving quite well. Another player I think that comes to my mind is, um, I believe he's entering his B-Type H style. He's a K-Rule player, of all things. And he's been beating D-Tier uh, in the sack brackets, which I... I was definitely surprised to see a K rule beat an ICs of all things. I bet you can imagine how that matchup might go. Um, I yeah, can't imagine that on paper it should go well with the K rule, so that's really impressive. You're, yeah, zero to 100 in like three seconds. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see, who else? I know, of course, there's going to be Cashew, it's Sephiroth player, if you're familiar with him. He's. He's a little less on the like echelon of Jim uh, Polar and Nathan Viper, but he's still got a lot of um, skill to him. I'd say that he might be probably the best Sephiroth in our region at the current moment, excluding any pockets. Excluding uh, Kai, I think his name is Key, uh, K-E-I. I never know how to pronounce that tag, sorry. <laughs> um, he, I know he's sometimes in and out of NorCal, but for like a permanent like person that always is competing, Cashew is definitely up there on the like Sephiroths to watch out for. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I'd be, I'm so excited to watch that. I personally 
think Sephiroth's a really underrated character to watch. So watching high level Sephiroth, which we only have a few in NorCal, really nice. Uh, the you treat to watch that. Uh, the other high level Sephiroth main I was thinking of is, well, I don't know about main. You're right. It is sort. Uh, I guess it's sort of a pocket friend as well. But Sergio has been playing a lot of Sephiroth in bracket. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's another name, but yeah, Cashew. That's definitely a name I'm gonna take uh, take notice for. There's not a lot of them for. I mean, he's a very volatile character to a lot of people. Um, any other people that I can think off the top of my head here that I that are entering? Of course, you know, I I gotta bring attention to the Bayo player. I'm pretty sure you've heard of him, Polar. Um, He's projected to do quite well in the Arcadian, and I personally have a lot of faith in him. One, he's a great player, but two, a lot of old players don't know how to play against Bayo, so I'm I'm looking forward to watching him uh, check a lot of people. Yeah, we've got a, you know the Bay actually has a couple Bayo mains, at least ones that go to Guildhouse, one that go to Maid. A lot of other tournaments uh, in the Bay Area like that. We only have a handful of them. Polar is definitely a name that has been on my radar lately. And I was just like, I, I was like, man, I was looking at some of these brackets. And uh, Polar has, got, has traveled a little bit outside of SAC now, hasn't he? Uh, I believe so. Uh, sometimes it eludes me who goes where at certain times. But he has, I think he's come to a guild house once. Or I might be mistaking him for Jim. I know Jim's also been coming to Guild occasionally. Yeah, Jim. Jim's been at a few of them recently. Uh, obviously, it's great practice for the Arcadian because that's the venue we're going to be using. But uh, I've seen Polar's name a handful of brackets. It's gotten some pretty good wins. Um, I don't have the data off the top of my head because, unfortunately, I'm not a panelist. So <laughs> <laughs> that's not my we'll job. Dig for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know uh, Polar. I'm really excited to watch Polar play as well. I know he's uh, he's been a name that's sort of entered my radar just from watching NorCal brackets. Not even like, not even NorCal tournament streams, but just seeing the name in brackets and usually going pretty far. Mm-hmm. He's a very good player. Um, <laughs> known for taking you to zero to whatever unholy percent with one turn up really quickly um let's see who else can i think about that is got some potential to really pop off i know there's um of course i don't know if you're familiar with the name smuna he's not exactly sack he's like in the middle area but he comes to a lot of sack events so i'm gonna count him he will show up beat a lot of good players and sometimes he'll show up and It'll be a 50-50. But he's got a lot of... Like, he plays Pack, he plays PT, he plays Robin. So, in an Arcadian setting, that's scary. Having a player that can pull out multiple characters at a, like, consistent enough level. Yeah, that is absolutely terrifying because, you know, uh, when you get to a good enough level, right, it, it all the fundamentals kind of just remain the same. You know, even even within the archetypes of the characters. But, I mean, you, you would know. You play... You would play snake, so right, so like the fundamentals of like a snake player, or your snake fundamentals probably transfer over to other zoners as well, right? Oh, it's I'd say the weird thing is for myself, uh, I actually he's probably like the only uh, zoner trap or whatever you want to call him that I enjoy. Um, I'm I'm more kind to playing swords, but since you know. Snake down tilt's basically a sword. It, it works out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very uh, fair, fair. I I'm actually, I just pulled up the Ar- Arcadian attendees list because I was like, okay, I don't want to give anyone like uh, there's there's two people that I almost completely uh, for neglected to mention, uh, and then I think that's probably my last two picks for people to watch out for. Um, we've got. A player that he originally comes from SoCal, but he goes up to school here in Sacramento. Uh, he's still entering. His tag is Schlime, a villager player. Uh, really good. Actually has taken, sets off some of the higher uh, players in Sacramento. And even myself watching him was surprised to see 
just actually someone making that character work versus some of the harder matchups. Like I watched him play against stuff where I'm like, there's no way villagers should be able to do this. And he, he makes it work. So if you're not ready to fight a villager player, uh, Schleim's probably got your number. Oh yeah. I can say that villager is definitely a character that a lot of people in general, let alone the Bay area, uh, have, very little if not limited experience fighting against so villager player is again one of those things I, I i mentioned one of those character matchups where it feels like you definitely get matchup checked so that uh, schleim is going to be a real threat uh come up uh coming this arcadia yeah it i i think everyone has an experience of being checked by like some of the lower echelon characters on the tier list and it's never fun. You're like, oh, why wasn't I prepared? It's like, well, how could you have been? Where are you, where are you getting that practice other than Elite? Like, are you going into the character Discord and hitting up the, the villager main? Like, probably not. <laughs> no. No. Honestly, though, people probably should. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, it, there's so many characters in this game. What, it's like 80, 89, something like that? Yeah, some ridiculous know. number. Definitely in preparation, I would recommend if anyone is, if this comes out before the Arcadian, uh, I'd recommend, even though you only got like a, maybe a day, go go hit up those character discords since you know your bracket. Yep. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Um, all right, any any other names? I know, actually, one name that I wanted to throw out on behalf of Sax with Dara. Ah, uh, yes, I, that was actually my next pick. Funny enough, I, that's why I was saying there's uh, two people I'd feel bad uh, you know, neglecting Wadara, Bowser Jr. player. Now, mentioning Bowser Jr., uh, shout outs to Ramon, old Bowser Jr. player. Wadara's carrying on the legacy of now being current best Sacramento Bowser Jr. player. And uh, dare I say it, almost surpassing Ramon in skill. He's a phenomenal player and not doesn't play the character very traditionally. He's a lot more aggressive than you would expect. You know, most people, when they... Uh, picture bowser jr they envision him as a zoner more of a like campy character wadara will go in he, he will box you and you will surprisingly lose because you weren't expecting the bowser jr to come at you yeah i've had the pleasure of playing him uh when he came out to guild house he's very very skilled i can completely attest to that and it's funny when he beat me uh his his whole advice was you know you should be more aggressive and I play Captain Falcon, and I, and I was like, I, I don't know how I can be more aggressive than you, because you were just, he is absolutely mixing my stuff. And yeah, he's, he's, he's a very good player, and unanimous opinion from everyone that I've talked to about Wadar is that he is absolutely uh, top-tier Bowser Jr., just as good as Ramon back in the day, uh, and definitely one of the best Bowser Jr. players in California. That's a that's a high praise you're giving him, but I think he deserves it. You know, he's he's put in the work and I, you know, maybe we'll see him on a future coming PR here, depending on if he gets those wins. He definitely has the skill. And I think it's only a matter of time before we see him up on one. I agree. And you could say the same for almost anyone that you said today. So oh, I wanted absolutely. to ask you. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question about the eligibility of the PR. Uh, oh. Or, sorry, yeah, PR panel eligibility or PR eligibility for this tournament. Uh, obviously, there are about 300 something people, and there won't be any ranked players in singles. Will this count for PR? Um, I believe so, since uh, last season was my first uh, ever season handling as a PR panel member. I believe the past Arcadians have counted for like the wins you get at that Arcadian do count in yeah. your bracket for said season. And since the old panelists did it, I, I can't say anything, you know, concrete yet. But I mean, we've we've kept with a lot of their old rules and we make it very public when we decide to change them. So I'm going to say tentatively. Like this, this isn't hard facts. It will count. I 
I don't imagine us changing that rule all of a sudden now. Um, I know you possibly talked to Al Soda about this. Uh, it'd be really funny if he said the opposite. <laughs> uh, I don't believe he did. I didn't ask him this question, so you're good. Uh, it'd be funny, though. But <laughs> I, I believe we'd all... It just wouldn't feel right having an event like this not count for the people entering. It'll be a pain to enter, and I'm not look, looking forward to that part, but it will most likely count, yes. Awesome. Well, thank you much for your time, Solid Tips. It was awesome. I'll definitely see you this weekend. Do you have any socials that we can follow you on? Uh, like Twitch stream or Twitter, anything like that? Anything you want to plug? Uh, just Plasma Tips on Twitter. Uh, and then for the occasional time I stream... It will be on my Twitter. It's just solid tips. That's very rare, but when I do, I'm always randomly streaming either Smash or some Fire Emblem. <laughs> awesome. All right. Yes. Well, thank uh, yet again. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the Arcadian. I'll catch everyone else at the Arcadian. Don't forget to tune in live if you can't make it in person at twitch.tv slash guildhouse. It's going to be a wonderful day. We'll also have a side stream on twitch.tv slash rpsville. Uh, and it will be an amazing day, I'm sure of it.